Hello guys, so in this series we will be trying to understand Linux and learn Linux and we would try to understand what happens when you basically run Linux as well. So in this uh, first video series I would like to give the big picture of Linux. So let's get started. Linux system looks very complicated when you look at it at a first glance and along with that there are a lot of people who speak very strange terminologies on Linux. At least those sound strange when we start our journey with Linux. So we have been patching Linux server. There was a satellite server which we have installed on our Red Hat Linux operating system. The patch which we have installed is not working. The web server on the Linux system is communicating with the database server. So there are loads and loads of things that you come across and they add more strange feeling about Linux. But let us not worry about those details. Let us try to understand Linux in a very abstracted way. When I say abstracted, it is very simple. So you are hiding all the complexities. So let us assume that you are driving a car. Do you really need to understand how engine works? How engine has been mounted? Who are the people who have uh, basically uh, helped in creating your car on the factory production line? I don't think so. Right? So in the same way, we will try to understand Linux and in this series, we will try to understand Linux with three essential layers. We have three layers of abstraction in Linux, which I am going to call as layers right now. From bottom up, the layers are hardware layer, kernel layer and the user space layer. Whenever you are using a Linux machine, basically you will be working in a user space layer. Let us assume that you have run some Linux command. So you are running on a user space mode. But actually, these three layers will be communicating with each other to get the stuff done. So let us see these layers in a detailed way. First, I'll start with the bottom layer, which is hardware layer. To run any operating system, we might need some hardware. So let it be CPU, let it be RAM, let it be disks, let it be network components, let it be the other I.O. devices which are connected to your system. These are all the hardware components which we have and this bottom layer signifies or speaks about that layer. And then we have a very important layer which is called as a kernel layer. Kernel layer is or kernel is basically a software program which is loaded into your RAM or a main memory. And what kernel does is kernel directs the hardware components what has to be done. Kernel acts as an interface between your user space and a hardware layer. Now, let us look into a user space layer. User space layer is all about running applications. So, whenever you run any application on any operating system, something called as process will be created. Operating system understand your applications with processes. Each, each process will be given a unique ID and some amount of memory, some amount of memory. And whenever you run your applications, actually you are running processes. And these processes are basically called as user processes. And in Linux, we have two kinds of processes. One is kernel process, the other one is user process. Kernel process have full authority on all the hardware devices. So, if something goes wrong in the kernel process, that might be devastating. Whereas, user process are something which kernel manages or kernel creates. Now, kernel can control your user process. And in the user space, generally, we should have some kind of permissions. Let us assume that you have two users which are running your operating system. And you want to define the boundaries. How do I define it? Linux takes the concept what Unix had, which is a user. So a user will have a username, a user will have a user ID. So these are the two things or two essential things which identify user. For the user space, you can recognize the user by its name. But when it comes to kernel, kernel doesn't identify the users by their names, but rather it uses user IDs. To summarize what we have learned so far, in Linux, we have three layers, user space, kernel and hardware. Whenever you do something on Linux, you are actually 
interacting with user space. User space communicates with kernel and kernel will try to get the things done by taking the help from the hardware. This is a simple story now. Okay, so whatever complex operation in Linux might be, it is all about interactions between user space, kernel and hardware. Thank you. We will learn about another interesting topic in the next video series. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe our channel and click on bell icon.